In this video, we will review how to print and export a database. To print a report, simply double click the report, click File, click Print, and then choose the middle print option. Here you can select a printer. Um, you can also go into Setup if you want to make changes to the page setup. And then when you finish, simply click OK. To print records, you will open the table. And if you only want to print selected records, you can highlight those. Click File, click Print. Again, choose the middle print option. And then you will click on Selected Records if you only want to print the ones that you highlighted. And then when you finish, click OK. To maintain backward compatibility in a database, you will click on File, Save As, Save Database As, and then choose the file type here. And then you would continue on by clicking Save As, choosing a file location, and then saving. To save a database as a template, you will follow these same steps, except you will choose Template here. And then you will click on Save As. You can give the template a name, fill out a description if necessary. Um, you can choose a category, which you can see here we only have one. If you want an icon, for the template, you can browse for an icon file. Um, you can uh, browse for a preview file. If you need to set an instantiation form, you can do that. You can make this um, an application part if you'd like. And you can choose whether or not to include the data in the template. And then you will click OK and then it tells you where it saves the template and then click OK again. To save a database to an external location you can click on File, Save As and you could potentially save it maybe to OneDrive that would be an external location um, an external location and the options on this screen would be SharePoint. Um, and of course you would have to have that set up. It's not set up on this particular computer. So you would click on that and then fill out the remaining dialog boxes. And then lastly, to export to alternate formats, you can right click the table query form or report. And for this example, we will just right click on the song table move down to export and then choose a file type and you know the the wizard may vary slightly depending on the option that you choose you always want to select somewhere to save it though and then you can change the file name if necessary and then click Save. You can choose the format here. So if you needed to, you know, choose an older format, you could. You can export it with the formatting and layout if you'd like. You can have it open the file after it finishes the export, and then click OK. And there's our song list.